I'll boil up some water. We'll have a spy at that leg of yours. Should have seen me with that barrel, Engrim. I showed it was boss. Hmm. Magrin gives some of us simpler trials than others. The Yodel said you had to bail him out of trouble. Diverus? Was he crying? You can tell me. <laughs> oh, quiet. You were under a damned barrel. Good news, Captain. I found some supplies must have washed ashore. Even better. I've located some spirits. The mundane kind, I mean. Nothing that requires your talents, Watcher. Have you seen any other survivors? Not a one. We've come away from this one limping, Captain. But we live to see the next battle through. What do you think we should do now? It's just a lot of us now, Captain. You'd best head into town, see about supplies and repairs. I'll keep an eye on the ship. Do you know anything about this island? Kethrith here. I can that much. Means we're a sight better off than we could be. Of course, it's surely pirate territory. They have a number of bolt holes out this way. I'd nay be surprised if that cave up north is one of them. Could be they lie in wait for us even as we speak. Maybe only a dev can answer this. How much reading is in this entire game compared to a book page-wise? Well, it's important to mention that they actually uh, almost fully voice acted this game. One of the reasons I'm really enjoying and going to enjoy streaming it and did the first time. Uh, all dialogue is voice acted and a lot of the main story narration is also narrated. Uh, however, there are like encounters that are text-based. Those are not read out. And there's also a lot of flavor dialogue in the gray areas. You can see like under the, the spoken dialogue that is not read out either. So there's a huge amount of dialogue in this game and a lot of it's really well written. I suppose we are lucky to have found land. What a mess. We'll be needing help getting the Defiant off the ground. Do you know anything about this place? We got turned around in that storm. Hard to be sure just where we are. What do we do now? Not much chance of us moving the ship on our own, but we're in charted waters. There's bound to be a town nearby. Cool. Okay. I think we got everything here. Quick look at the map. Keep moving. Oh, we leveled. Oh yeah, we did. Wait, did we? Um. Ah, level up. Your characters earn enough experience to advance a level. Click the plus icon in their portrait to level them up. Okay. Uh, active skills. Let's get mechanics to four. Passive skills. Let's work on diplomacy on Ko. Yeah, we're going to get diplomacy up for him. Okay. Soul Whip. I already have that. I already have Soul Blade the Soul Annihilation ability, which we're going to be using relatively frequently. Um, it's this guy. So I can get a skill here, but I think we're going to go into Rogue. Allows the Rogue to break engagement and expertly avoid attacks, diving out of range to a specific location. Backstab. Dramatically increases the damage done from stealth or invisibility. We're gonna get we're gonna be getting backstabbed for sure. But let's get this first. Let's let's get this first. Great. Okay, that's gonna be pretty important. Is this a recording? Yes. Well it will be. You can now empower your abilities or yourself once per fight. You can use Empower on an active ability to make it much stronger, or alternatively, you can use it on to empower yourself to replenish a portion of your ability points. To empower an ability, click the plus on your action bar, then select the ability you want to empower. To restore resources, click the plus, then click your character's portrait or selection circle. Cool. You can only use Empower once per fight and a limited number of times between rests. Okay. Hey there. Nice. We got three. Hell yeah, dude. 
Um, let's go ahead and set this as two. For escape, and we will do soul annihilation as. Actually, let's do that as four. We'll do soul annihilation as one. Four is two, and that is three. How many of these can we do? Oh, we can only have four hotkeys. That doesn't seem right. Can we do all? Hey there. No. They'll never know I'm here. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I guess where we. Oh, wait. We can do like right letters and stuff, can't we? All right. Let's do a dare now. Uh, a dare is going to be our athletics bro. And we're going to get his survival up. Yeah, we'll do his, we'll do survival for him. Okay. Yeah, that should that should work. All right, he already has constant recovery. We can get him disciplined barrage. We'll get aware. Fifty percent of grazes are converted to hits and five perception, and also concentration. You can also get him monastic unarmed training, fast runner, or arms bearer. I think we're going to go with discipline barrage. By the way, whenever I'm leveling up somebody, feel very much free to suggest anything in chat that you guys might think is a better option or a good option. Um... Because I, 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 it has been a long time since I played this game, and I have not played on this difficulty since it's been rebalanced. So, is this better than Kingmaker? Uh, I think I think Kingmaker in a yeah, lot of ways right is there. better, but this game does have some unique things about it that that make it a lot of fun to play. But Kingmaker, Kingmaker's story, in my opinion, is is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, Kingmaker's story is. is oh, here we go. The Forgotten Sanctum has been installed. You will automatically begin the first quest of this adventure when you receive a visitor upon the high seas after having progressed far enough through Pillars of Eternity to Deadfire. Seeker Slayer Survivor has been installed. Okay. Cool. Great. Like, for instance, I like the world map system better in this game because it, um, the, the Pathfinder one, like, limits you to roads and stuff, and I like being able to just travel around like this. Hey, Ions. What's up, buddy? In the distance, you see a simple wagon. The angle at which it rests on the road, one side jutting above the other, suggested has been damaged or disabled. Even from your vantage, you can make out Kith milling around. Kith are just, uh, humans. Like, like, humanoid. Sneak closer to observe. As you near the cart, you make out a group of Reedsaren pilgrims in rough spun linens and cottons. A single draft horse stamps at the ground impatiently as two of the pilgrims argue over the front right wheel, which seems hopelessly stuck in the mud. Approach openly. One of the pilgrims notices you. Her step back draws the attention of the others, and a man in well worn in a well worn gamison steps forward. The weight of deep concern hangs on his face. Did the dreams bring you here as well? The other pilgrims look at you with a mix of apprehension and hope. Dreams? I'm following Aethus. The old pilgrim's mouth opens in amazement. You hear a gasp from the from another. They look at each other, excitement in their eyes. Praise him! The old man cries out. We're not alone. We had the dreams too. We saw the three stars sailing through the sky, piercing the black of a storm cloud. Figured it must be him, Aethas, calling to us. So we came here to the place we saw in our dreams. The pilgrims look around, matching their sleeping memory to the present. We saw the giant's pass with three stars on his brow, but he sighs and gestures to the wagon stuck in the mud. Sad to say we could not follow him. Wheel stuck as, as it gets. Ooh. Oh, for an Aethas priest, we could have said something. None of us are strong enough to lift that corner up to get something under it. More than one of us tries, and we just get in each other's way. Uh, inspect the wagon. Let me take a look. A brief inspection reveals the wagon is undamaged, but the wheel is stuck fast in the mud. Attempt to lift the corner of the wagon. Square yourself to the wagon's corner, squat deep, and rest the wheel from the mud with a grunt. A young Dongstar stands in shock for a moment, but reacts in time to thrust the thick cord beneath the wheel. It takes the better part of an hour to lay down a safe path for the wagon to roll free of the mud. Cool. Two hours pass. 
Smiling, the leader presses a small pouch of coins in your hand. We appreciate your help. Without you, who knows how long we would have been stranded out here. Cool. Hell yeah. Oh, can I move to the other side above the dialogue box? Uh, we'll see. This, this is a good place for most of the things, so we'll have to figure it out. Whoa. Uh, let's maybe not do that yet. Ooh, what's this? When do you... Oh, nice. Okay. Fort Maje. Better see what that crowd's about. Uh, hey, Barry. Uh, does, Barry, do you have your ears on, buddy? Let's save it. What if the giant comes this way? Please, everyone stay calm. Oh, I love this guy's accent. The man at the center of attention appears to be fielding inquiries from both the gaggle of townsfolk gathered around the platform and a rather severe-looking uh, Amoa woman standing just beside him. Please, everyone remain calm. I assure you I will do everything in my power to get you the answers you need. Our friends among the Huan have offered you hospitality and safety from the storms. Oh, Awesome. Barry says, what the bejesus do you want? Excellent. Hey, Barry, is there any chance we could do a cutscene system set up to where whenever the, the big page appears on the screen, it slides me to the bottom left? Or maybe bottom right? We'll have to see next time it happens. But yeah, that would be awesome if we could. Hopefully there'll be enough static pixels to do that. This is when Barry goes, absolutely not. Yes, yes. I think we are all keenly aware of the debt of gratitude we owe to the... I have personally seen to the safety of your homes. Now you will do the same for our families. What about our families? What about the ships? How are we supposed to feed ourselves? If everyone would... It's one of the pirates. I am not a pirate. Everyone stay calm. I think it's clear our guest is nothing of the sort. Two of my guards reported a ship flying deer wooden colors, fallen prey to a private vessel. That would be your ship, I assume. That would make him lucky. Your own vessels do not usually fare so well. Quite. If I was all that lucky, I wouldn't have crashed here. Perhaps not. But I suspect some good can come of this. Perkum Plank, everyone, forgive me. I believe this matter requires my attention. You have my word that I will keep you apprised of any changes. Especially you, Mr. Ikawa. Do not flatter me with Valian titles. You are distracted with your newcomer and wish me gone. But I will not go far, Governor Clario. Damn. Gerade. As for you, stranger, let us speak at my estate. We'll discuss your predicament. Ooh. Okay. Nice people. All right. Ooh. What's up, Accept Shelly? the light, and you shall be redeemed. And you shall be saved. The missionary holds a candle to drip wax in the shape of three stars on the forehead of each kneeling worshiper. Se futito, madicchio, I did not sign up to be burned. Watch from within the crowd. The priest trembles her arms, face pinched with disappointment, and the warm sea breeze from the port, loose strands of her sun streaked hair whip about her head like a living halo. This flame is not for purification. Go bless. It is for illuminating the darkness. Sanctification comes only as a result of your journey. But the light will guide your way. She tilts her face towards the sky, eyes shut. She drags a shaky hand to dribble wax across her own brow. Aethus has returned at last, but it's not too late to redeem ourselves. As surely as my fingers are webbed, I tell you, 
Gone, never left. Gone is an aspect of Aethus associated with death and harvests. His implements are symbolically important. The sickle reaps what is sowed in life, and the lantern guides the deceased down their intended path of dead, death and rebirth. It is generally believed that Gone, instead of bare-ass avatars, visit those who embrace death with acceptance and understanding. His most fervent devotees are known as Harvesters of Gone. Sakes alive, Wangliss. Ain't we got more pressing matters to attend to than a baptism? Ooh. We just missed one of the biggest reapings of all time. What about the souls that need us? As she steps forward, she reaches for a peculiar, peculiar looking lantern strapped to her hip. Do not push me on this, you wayward child. You'd leave the living for Lauren to service the dead? Rather than discouraging the other Dawnstar, the accusation seems to kindle a stubbornness inside her. Shoulders set, she grins. Here, I'll light them all at once. Metal clanking, she sways an eerily lit lantern in an intricate pattern before her. The priestess bites her lips, swinging harder and faster, lith arms hurting, hurtling the weapon with a deceptively hidden strength until she thrusts it hard out towards the crowd, splattering everyone with wax. Well, that's one way to do it. Hell yeah, it is. I call that the... Hell yeah! She turns and takes a good look at you and promptly chokes. Are you by any chance looking to help the people I saw die in my dreams? She ducks her head, cheeks flushing prettily. I'm guessing you're not here for the baptism. And what if I was? No, I don't think you are. You got this feeling about you, like you got a greater purpose to say to. I'm looking for an Adra statue about yay high, inhabited by Aethus. I knew it! <clears throat> Gon's been calling me here. Left the breadcrumbs in my dreams. I need to get inland. If you're going, I could help you. Swear on my soul. Uh... Why do you want to go inland? There are souls needing their last rites. I ought to shine them the light, else they might get lost. Enough nonsense, Jyoti. Jyoti. No one knows if anyone's even died. You've no business going in there, risking your own safety, risking our mission. Wanglith, you guide the living and I guide the dead. Gone bids it and I dreamed it. Leave it be. Girl, let me be, leave me with my crazy. We all serve our purposes. So what's yours? What do you think? Writing at her bottom lip, she looks you up and down. A pleased sound leaves her throat. Mmm. I think I know what you are. Mm-hmm. And here you are, following my god. Watcher, will you take me with you? A fine proposition. I'd enjoy the company of a priestess. I know an offer rare as hen's teeth when I hear it. Yeah, I'm taking it. She beams brightly. You won't regret this. Oh, I know. She steals a shy glance at Adair. Uh, hey. Adair's half nods without looking in uh, Choti's direction. He seems suddenly focused on something in the distance. A tad too eagerly, she saunters close beside you. At least take care, child. Come oh. back to us in one piece. If not for my sake, then Sawin's. So don't tell her. What the hot priestess doesn't know won't hurt her. Grinning, Chilti waves her brethren a curt parting. Okay. So... This is when we need to decide, like, this is a big decision for us on this playthrough. If we go Priest, we get the Harvester of Gone. And we also get the last two abilities as Pure Priest, which are very good. And we will be getting to the end because we're going to be doing the DLCs and stuff. So, getting her to the end is, is pretty freaking lucrative. Um, but we could make her a monk, just a monk. And as her, her monk is sister of the reaping moon, she gains buckler proficiency and gains wounds when defeating an enemy with a melee attack. But it's weird because like, does she just use a buckler and punch people? Like, is that... Um... We already have two melee. That's true. 
That's true. We do already have two melee. We could also consider multi-classing. But we would lose out on the subclasses. No, no, no. We, we get... We get the Sister of the Reaping Moon subclass. Do we get both subclasses? Oh, we do get both subclasses. Um, But honestly, I think since we have... I think since we have two melee, I kind of want to make her a pure priest. And then maybe multi-class our future companions. I think I'm going to do that. I need I need the healer. Yeah, let's do it. Done. Thank you for the uh, the tips there, chat. I really appreciate it. The children of the Dawn Stars. I wondered if we'd run into them down here. There's someone I used to know. Just a, an old friend. Came out here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around. See if she's still out here. Might be she can help us. Uh, is that the... Just a friend, huh? <laughs> How did you know her? Oh, uh, well, both grew up in Gilded Vale, same temple. Bro, your cheeks are red. All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, you know. Fornicate. <laughs> she was real loud, too. Used to have to cover her mouth or she'd get the dog howling in the next room. Mr. Mercer. I do declare, sir. <laughs> um... Ooh. Is it hot in here or is it just Matt? Um Sounds like a special woman. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. <laughs> You're gonna like her. I got a good feeling. <laughs> Love it. One sec. Okay. <laughs> uh, Chad, it's good to be back in this game. Is that my photo? Yes, it is. Yes. Our uh, Obsidian was cool enough to actually put a picture of me in the game. So so we're actually playing... The character we're playing is actually me. Um, That's a that's a hand-drawn version of a real picture of me. <laughs> so we're playing Co. Yeah. It's kind of awesome. Okay. Uh, let's right level here. her up. Let's level her up. First of mm -hmm. all, let's take a look at her skills. So... She's an axe user. Oh, she's the she uses her her scythe, right? Yeah. Oh, can we level this up yet? Oh, that's right. They completely redid the upgrade system since I played. Yeah, dude. Unique with the gold border weapons, armor, and shields can be enchanted to further increase their potency. Each enchanting recipe requires a specific number of ingredients. When you have ingredients to perform an enchantment of an item, it will display a plus in the upper left corner of the item's icon. So this is really cool. So they basically completely um, upgraded this system since I did it. And now it does like all sorts of really cool stuff. So you can see not only can we upgrade the quality, we can also upgrade unique things. We can choose between different things. Finality adds three raw damage per three seconds. Urgent Harvest grants Urgent Harvest 15% action speed for 10 seconds when near a slain enemy. That increases with the religion skill. Very cool. This is the Saint War armor on our buddy. He gets second chance at the beginning. Then we can do rock solid to take less crushing damage. Or veteran scars for less slashing damage. That seems like an uh you know an easy break, but then that will go into resistance to perception afflictions or veterans maneuver. At the start of combat, the wearer is immune to any attacks targeting reflex until they are hit twice by other attacks. Cool. Some of the later weapons have some crazy cool upgrades you can do to weapons. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. 
And this just adds a ton of shield deflection. Okay. So let's take a look at her normal skills. She can do Blessed Harvest. Reap an enemy in the name of Gone. If the enemy is bloodied or near death, they will receive significantly more damage. Cool. And then she has Restore. 